So you want to learn how to code in 2022 but don't know where to begin because there are so many languages out there? Then you have come to the right place. In this video I'm going to tell you my personal top 3 picks for the best language to learn as a complete beginner. So let's get started. Hello and welcome fellow coders. Or should I say about to be fellow coder? If you watch this video I assume that most probably you don't know how to code but you want to learn it. This is going to be the second best decision you will ever make in your life. Trust me. It was mine. As a complete beginner, the language you pick shouldn't matter that much. Okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry I said that. Before you turn off this video, please let me explain. When you start programming, you need to learn the basics first. You need to learn about data structures like arrays and maps, sorting, filtering and search algorithms, how to communicate with other systems using HTTP or WebSockets, basic principles like solid, kiss or dry, and of course, architectural design patterns. And the list goes on and on and on. Oh, I know, this sounds like a lot. And it actually is. The language you pick shouldn't be in your way. It should be an easy one so you can pick it up very easy and concentrate on the important things. But since you need to start with a language anyways, you might as well pick the best one. And I'm going to tell you which one it is. But before we jump into the picks, let me quickly walk you through the rating process I used while going through the languages and picking up my top three. There are basically three criteria that I looked at. First, the popularity of a language. Second, what is this language most used for? And third, how easy it is to learn. Why is the popularity so important? When learning how to code, you will rely on many different books or tutorials. So having a language that is very popular will increase the chance that you get a good one. But how did I know if a language is popular or not? Well, basically I'm a genius, so I know everything. And of course, I looked at the, I'm definitely going to butcher this name, Tayobi, Tayobi index. This index is an indicator of the popularity of a language. And it's based on the number of skilled engineers worldwide. Basically, it's a table of programming languages and their ratings. And there is also the statistics provided by GitHub. It shows the top languages that are used in GitHub repositories over the past years. Learning a popular language is also going to increase your chances of getting a job. The next criteria I looked at is what is this language most used for? There are some languages out there that serve a very specific purpose. Let's take Swift for an example. Swift is a programming language that is most suited for iOS or macOS development. If you want to become an iOS developer, you need to learn Swift. But if you want to become something else, Swift might not be the best choice. So I took every single language and looked at what I can do with it. And I do backend development, frontend development, mobile app development, desktop app development, CLI development, machine learning engineering, and so on and so forth. But why is this important? Good question. As a beginner, you should pick a language that you can write the backend, the frontend and maybe a mobile app. All of the same language. This way you can get your fingers dirty on everything, figure out what you like the most and specialize on it. But imagine you would have to learn three different languages for that. Wouldn't be cool. And of course, I looked at how easy it is to learn the language. There are some languages out there that are way harder to learn. Yes, C++. I'm talking to you. And on the other hand, you have languages that are basically English. So why should I pick a language first that is kind of hard to learn? These are my criteria that I looked at when I picked up my languages. But I guess you're very eager to know my top three picks. So without further ado, let's get into it. Starting out in third place, Java. Java is a compiled, feature-rich, object-oriented programming language. It is used all over the world by major companies. I don't know the statistics, but I'm pretty sure that if you look at a company that is older than 5 years, they will have at least one project that is written in Java. So the popularity is very high. If you look at what Java is used for, there is basically nothing you cannot do with Java. Java was actually the first language that I learned. And in my 5 years of professional Java experience, I've written a fair share of applications. Most of them were backends or desktop applications. But I've also written a mobile app and I've done some scientific programming too. But if you compare Java to the other two languages that I chose, its learning curve is a little steeper. And Java is a very verbose language, meaning that you have to write more code in order to accomplish something compared to other languages. But still, Java is one of the best languages that you can learn as a complete beginner. Coming in in second place, we have Python. Python is an interpreted, object-oriented programming language. At least in my experience, it is the most easy to learn programming language out there. In the last several years, it has gained a lot of traction. This is because it is one of the best programming languages you can use for AI and machine learning development. But this isn't all you can do with Python. Python is great when it comes to automation. Basically, every single developer as well as DevOps engineer has used Python to automate all the boring stuff. And as I already said, Python is like the easiest language you can learn. If you know English, you can basically read Python code. But if Python is so easy to learn, how come it's not in the first place? Well, 
This is actually a quite good question young Padawan. You can do a lot of things using Python, but the number one language has even more things to offer. And as I told you earlier, this is quite important for a beginner. Imagine learning one language which you can use and do basically anything with it. What will it be? What will it be? And the winner as the best programming language to learn in 2022 as a complete beginner is... JavaScript! You might have already guessed it. I don't know if you've heard, but the internet is kind of a big thing. So learning a language that was created for it seems to be a good idea, right? As the name already implies, JavaScript is a scripting language that is used for web development. According to the statistics of GitHub, JavaScript is the most popular language worldwide, and it has been for the last several years. And if you ask me, it's not going to leave this position anytime soon. So if you want to become a web developer, you need to learn JavaScript, period. There is basically nothing you cannot do with JavaScript. You can write websites, backend servers, desktop applications, mobile applications, CLI tools, and so on and so forth. And the good thing about JavaScript is that you can basically learn it in your browser. You can pick any browser you want, open the development tools, and start writing JavaScript code. If you compare it to my other two picks, it is way easier to learn than Java, but not as simple as Python. But still, in my humble opinion, it is the best programming language you can learn as a complete beginner. So there you have it, you need to learn JavaScript. What do you guys think about my top 3 picks? What was the first language you learned? And what would you recommend to a complete beginner? Please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video or even found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any new content. And until next time, keep on coding!